In this video, we'll learn to use Microsoft OneNote app on Android. So, let's get started. When you install it for the first time, you must log in with your Microsoft account. If you already have an app such as Outlook or OneDrive, the app automatically signs you in. OneNote works differently than the other note-taking apps. There are three different levels. The top level is Notebooks. Under Notebooks, we add sections. And in each section, we have pages, also called Notes. We have the Notebooks option on the bottom, which is already selected. The search option searches for titles and text within Notes. And Sticky Notes can be used to add simple sticky notes with the background color. To add, tap here. You get the rich editing options on the bottom with options to change the background and share it with others in this menu. The share option only shares the text of the note. By default, you have a notebook, but you can tap on this plus sign to add another one. It asks for the name and account. After creating, you can tap on it to go to the sections. You already have a section here. You can hold on to it and tap on this icon to change its name or create a new section here. Under this section, you have an untitled note. This does not contain anything. Let's add a new note. The new note contains the created date and time, but you can tap on those to delete. The top section is the title, while the bottom section is the body. OneNote offers many rich editing options found above the keyboard. Here's a quick look at what you can do in OneNote Android. Let's add a few things. The camera option has a few features. You can scan documents, take photos, and scan business cards. After taking the photo, you get some editing options before adding. On the top right, you can enable the drawing mode. Once enabled, you will be able to draw. This menu comes with a couple of pen types, highlighter, eraser, and select tool. The select tool allows selecting the drawings and moving them around. With OneNote, you can draw over the text and vice versa. If you add a piece of text after adding a drawing or vice versa, the app converts all the text into text components that can be moved around. OneNote allows you to share a page. You have PDF and plain text options. The PDF files create the same looking file, while the plain text option only copies the notes text. The menu option has a few options. You can sync the notebook, add this note to the home screen, find something on the page, or delete it completely. Let's discover the settings. You can view, change, and add accounts here. To save data, you can only sync over Wi-Fi or limit the sync contents here. The OneNote badge is an option that is always visible to create a new note quickly. The last option here is for changing the theme. Now the OneNote desktop comes with some advanced options and some of those options are not available on mobile. For example, if you set a password, you can put the password on mobile, but you can't remove or change it. Other features include more rich editing tools and more sharing options. Anyway. This is it for OneNote Android. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments and thumbs up if the video helped. I'll see you next time.